Hello people, I don't have an intro, so this is the intro now. So, in the nutshell, I, this looks like the normal character, the normal objects, the normal skins, the normal everything, except for one thing's different with this one. This. This is what I'm going to be calling my advanced rig. Now, there is a couple of key differences from my advanced rig to the beginner rig that I will explain. So, the advanced rig uh, comes preset like this in this position. Uh, what you'll eventually so in order to use it, what I would recommend is, of course, selecting, making sure that I have screencast keys on so that way you can see what I'm doing. So, selecting everything with A, just so that way I select it all. Copy it, Control C, make a new, uh, just make a new blend file, AX delete. So, now with everything deleted, paste in our new character. So, here I will now be explaining the main differences. So, right off the bat, you can see that everything looks completely different. Long gone are the days where everything looks like this, and now. It's my nice circles and icospheres, making it very appealing to your eye. So, if we go into control tab into pose mode, you can see that rotation actually gets put into effect here, which means we can move things around, but the rotation of those movements is in effect and can be used to make things much different and stuff. I don't know, you can mess around with it. I'm not Apple here. Um, your head works like normal, just rotation. Uh, what's new with this is now there's shoulder kinematics, which means finally you can move your shoulders and give that nice, I don't know, whatever you're trying to look for. Uh, with your legs and your arms, so your arms and legs you are actually going to be having to uh, move, you're actually going to have to rotate those things. You're still you're still going to have to move your actual like where your elbow is looking at. But instead, for this one, uh, you know, you c you can do something like that. Which I don't know if it was a requested feature. I just thought that sometimes you just need to make your hand look somewhat different than that just perfect smooth angle which also allows you to do things like this. You can actually finally do a knob twisting or s stuff like that. You can just mess around. I mean, that's kind of the main point of this here, is just messing around. Um, so shoulders and same thing with the legs for the most part. Um, if you Alt-GR all this, which makes screencast keys really like it when I'm doing the same thing a bunch of times. Um, you'll notice that uh, moving it up doesn't work because as it's your thought now this is because it takes into your rotation as a consideration as well so um, you're going to have to look at rotation of it before you're doing this this becomes basically just moving the upper bit of it the lower bit will be primarily controlled with uh, that bone so, um, I guess, yeah, I mean, I should probably, you know, do a little something where, uh, so of course you can get these files in the description. Um, I made them all, Sp uh, stealing is gay. Uh, I don't know, Just once again, uh, mess around would be a great idea. Um, and yeah, so that's the new Crunker rig where you can finally do this. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what people do. You can finally be a midget. <laughs> So, once again, this is this tutorial. You watch other tutorials. Um, oh, also, recently, and don't forget, I know that most of you aren't subscribed, 
And that's basically it. Congratulations. You're now reached the end of the tutorial, and this is five minutes of nice information.